Right. We're doing this painting for uh, the National City Martin Luther King Jr. East Busway Community Mural Project. This wall was basically just a concrete wall. We had to pressure wash the wall to get all the old paint and dirt and stuff off of it. And then we had to do two coats of primer. <clears throat> To, basically to make the wall a canvas. We took a bunch of paint rollers and just made this whole wall white. I'm trying to make shapes that would lead people's eye through it instead of just being like, here it is. <laughs> and from there, we took it upon ourselves to make sketches and add color and images to it with acrylic paint. I feel that it's going to look real good, you know. Today we are here to celebrate the realization of that vision. Mr. Cal Holbrook has become the largest youth employer in the city. My art teacher was like, hey, everyone, there's a mural project going on. You can do it for the summer and get $1,000. And immediately everyone was like, I'll do it. We basically have an obvious theme. Of peace, and people can really tell that with no problem because there's no type of graffiti or violence anywhere on the wall. The importance of public art is the same as the importance of art. It's good for you. It's good for me. It enriches life. As you can see, it looks vibrant, keeps you moving. Like everyday life that I see. I mean, it's evident with the, the students that I'm working with, uh, hopefully they'll take this experience in a lot of positive uh, light and share that with their families. And you know that can have a ripple effect into the community. I feel it's a good thing for kids to be a part of stuff like this. It's a good community work type thing. Everybody can get involved and have fun. It's a good thing. I'm going to be able to ride by here every day and say I did that. I feel like I'm going to be contributing to East Liberty's history. Taught me responsibility. Just something from that point of life. One of the important things about that is that you show them that the work they do isn't necessarily it's not necessarily about themselves because we're all working together and the project we're doing is it's about this community. To me the reason I put this hand and flower up there because something stimulating. There's a lot of power behind that whether it's subconscious or people recognize it but that sort of stimulation positive imagery will sink in and it'll, it'll have a positive effect. A flower meaning life and a hand being you control, like you control what could happen to your life. Just the experience, being involved with such great people and painting, it's great. What more could you ask for? Beautiful day, we got paint, we're outside, we're not behind a desk. So it's been a good experience, very good experience. What more could you want? And I look forward to working with Kyle. I'm sure he's going to have more projects as we go forward. You're going to hear from the next speaker, uh, which is the mayor of the city. But I think today's unique because we've got two mayors with us. You heard from Mayor Thompson, and you're going to hear from Mayor Ravensall too. And uh, this is what this is all about. Ripping down these municipal boundaries in our heads and, and looking at how we bring all of us together. Uh, and, and art's one way to do it, bringing the art community together and really seeing the talent that exists in these neighborhoods. So what we have here is a shot through a keyhole from the old Ganada Center. We wish we could bring this back. As you see, as you look through the, the keyhole, you can see the people. And, and also you can see the lights outside, the beautiful clouds. So please let's bring that back, America. It's the hey, 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 h